Hey guys, what's going on? It's Noch. Welcome back to another episode of Escape Simulator. Hope you're all well. And today we're going to jump in to the Edgewood Mansion levels. Um, yeah, this is the third set of levels in the game. And uh, yeah, very Victorian theme going on with this one. And the first one we're going to jump into is one called Brain Checkup. So yeah, let's jump in and uh, see what we got. Alrighty then. It's a relatively small room, and we've got some ticking clocks, which are interesting. Do you know the time? No, I don't. I'm sure we'll find out the time, though. That's our hint button. We're not going to press that. Make sure that uh, nothing is here. <clears throat> A newspaper. Town hall meeting tomorrow. Pendulum lock invented. I think this is what we're going to want, isn't it? It's this one here, look. It's one, two, three. Okay. So it says that it has, like, three positions. But does that mean that those positions have to be set? Because that would be like that, wouldn't it? But we don't necessarily know. That's just telling us that, that, that it can be set in three positions, right? That's also very annoying that that keeps folding up. Good phone number as well. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. We might have to come back to that uh, in a bit. We'll see. There's a key here. I can see a key in under this right here. Uh, is it a reusable key? It is a reusable key. There's a hat with a token. Can I wear said hat? I don't know. How can... Is it possible to wear hats? Oh, there we go. I'm wearing the hat. Being all Victorian now. So we've got some uh, psychology things here. Nobody will find my safe. Well, it could be a number, right? It could be a nine. It could be a nine. I wonder if there's three of them, maybe. Possibly. So what's that on there? It's like a, a tag. That's interesting. These books. Nothing in the books. So let's drop them on the floor. Always got to smash the stuff, man. Okay, what's next? Okay, so this is his safe. This has to be his safe. And we think we've got a nine at the minute. Ah, there is a safe. Found a safe. And then obviously we've got to put the numbers in here. Okay, where do we find the numbers for the safe? That's IQ. Man, this place looks like a mess. Um, just wondering, like, actually about this. 1823. Like, no, is it just like a sequential thing? Do I just have to press them in order? Maybe No, I guess there is, like, a proper combination for it. There's not a lot to go on here, is there? All these books, but I'm pretty sure these books 
I've got nothing in them. I wondered that as well, whether like turning the lamp on would um, do something different, but uh, I guess not. Okay, let's look at the newspaper because I'm uh, I'm all a little bit confused. Edge has received scientific award. Really, a lot else there, is there? It still goes on about like the states of these. This one certainly has me confused. I'm not gonna lie. Books. That's books. Okay, so how? Or. Two. It's hold on. How many? How many red books are there? Okay. I wonder if it's the. Uh, uh be blue books. Oh. No. Blue books don't have. Okay, so I'm missing. I'm missing a. Um... Three, two, four. Is it, I guess it's just one, two, three, four. But I don't have. Unless it's hiding like under one of these, I don't have a fourth book. The thing is, though, it's all right, like, saying, oh, it could be this, this, and this, but... Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does that have something to do with it? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I said seven, two, seven? Is it three plus seven... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, okay, I think I got it. So four. Four is two. Okay, two is four. I think. It's four. Seven. Seven. Because it's dictated by the spine. So number three. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so. Yeah, book three has... Seven books here. Book two has four. And book three, again, has seven. Uh, now, where's book one? Are we just meant to guess book one? I mean, we can obviously we can do it from a process of elimination, but... I'm not seeing... A fourth book anywhere, unless like in the bin. Nope, not in the bin. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so here we've got uh, 259. Two five nine. So does that relate? What what I'm interested in? Does it relate to the head? Or is it the combination of this safe? Actually, we should probably look at the back of these. There was something on the back, wasn't there? The other ones. Oh, wait a minute. There's yeah. I think it's this one. So this is position three. One. So it's two, nine. Don't forget the code this time, yeah. 259, I think. 295. There we go. All right. We're getting somewhere. What did we just pick up? Lock it. it says love. 
We got uh, some notes. Uh, for normal examination of the patient's head revealed the following. Patient embodies a strong understanding of melody and language. Okay, I don't know how we're going to work this out, but I think what we're going to find here is each parts of the brain on this model relate to an emotion. And I guess we've got to press all of the emotions that are listed. Yeah, I think we've got to press all of the emotions. So where does it tell me? Or is there anywhere that tells me what emotions are what? There is nothing else. There to take there, is there? This one just says IQ. Is there anywhere in the... I wonder if there's anywhere in here where it says the, the professor's IQ? No, because it's all... Um, it's all just Laura Mipsum, isn't it? Thank you very much. I'll take that. And I'll take that as well. It's got to be something to do with this, though, right? Without knowing anything like about the subject, like, how would I know which things to press? These are confused. Oh, look at that look. It tells me what the combination is. Ah, uh, all right. I'm quite uh, annoyed by that. Right, I've got an IQ test. So here's our IQ test. So we can maybe do this now. Find the odd one out. It's going to be the snake. I'm looking for the pattern. So that's going to be 32. And then... Let's think. Can't be one. Can't be two. I think it's th three. Maybe three. It's either three or four. I think it's three. Aha! We have the manual that we so desperately wanted. Okay. So here we go. It's a good job you can pick more, pin more than one thing, isn't it? Okay, so we want melody. Ah, uh, it's maybe a pen and paper moment. So melody is musical talent. Let me let me let me get a pen and paper here. So it's six language, six something five eight nine is the same verbal talent maybe. So six three five eight nine. Uh six three five. Eight, nine. So surely melody, melody is musical talent, and language is verbal talent. Six, three, five, eight. Combativeness and destructiveness is both nine. So do I do nine twice? Oh, wait a second. Language. Look at that. Language is the eye, look. Okay, so that would be six. There's no... I'm confused. Definitely says language. One thing I just want to check, though, real quick is... And they should be, I know, but... Are the numbers the same? Yeah, two, seven, five, nine... Certainly missing something. But I don't know what. I mean, like, there's no secret buttons on this anywhere, is there? Well, maybe I need to not include number eight because it says there's a lack of that. So maybe we try six, three, five, nine. Wow, yeah, okay. Always pays to read very, very carefully. Well, that was, um, had a really, really slow start on that one, I feel. Um, we didn't really get going till probably about 10 minutes in. So yes, I feel like I missed some really obvious stuff as well. So um, hopefully next time around, we can not miss so much of the obvious stuff and um, we can actually get through it uh, a little bit quicker. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.